Hey, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to Michael Workspace. I am Michael and in today's lesson we'll be going over another leak code problem called sort callers. And it is uh, problem number 75. It is considered a medium level difficulty problem. And before we get into the problem statement, let's take a look at uh, some of the companies I have asked this question before in the coding interviews. So companies such as Amazon, Microsoft, Oracle, Apple, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, and a couple of others one. So uh, yeah, you should probably uh, get to know this uh, or remember or understand this algorithm so that uh, you'd be ready for it if you encounter them in the future. All right, so let's take a look at um, the problem statement here. Given an array with n objects, colored red, white, or blue, sort them in place so that objects of the same color are adjacent with the colors in the order red, white, and blue. Here we will use the integers 0, 1, and 2 to represent the color red, white, and blue respectively. Note, you are not supposed to use the library sort function for this problem. Alright, so basically we are not uh, allowed to use a built-in sort functions, uh, otherwise it would be too, too easy. Uh, and an example here is um, of an import would be a list that contains, uh, you know, uh, elements are either zeros, ones, or twos, and the output are uh, is is a, a list, uh, and um, it has to be in place. So you're not really returning it, but you are basically uh, modifying the list in place where the elements are reorganized, uh, where zeros are in front then comes ones or two or red, white, and blue, respectively. All right, and they have a couple, uh, it looks like to be hints here. And then it's asking us if we could come up with a one pass algorithm using only constant space. All right, so before we get into, you know, solving it as the problem is intended to be, um, <clears throat> if we, for example, if we don't need to use constants, uh, if we don't, if we not required to use constant space, and we can basically use like a data structure to uh, uh, to basically um, uh, have space in linear time, then this is this problem become really trivial because what we can do then uh, is that we can create uh, basically sub uh, sub lists, uh, initialize some lists here called red, white, and blue, and they all just be empty lists. And then we'll do uh, one single loop where we loop through our nums list and then just check the value of the, the elements. And if there are ones, append them to the red uh, list. If they're, sorry, if there's zero, append them to the red list. If, they are, if it is one, append them to the white list. And then if it's two, append them to the blue list. And then at the end, you're technically not returning it. Uh, but if, because we're doing it, they want us to do it in place. But if that's not the requirement for this, problem, we can actually return that uh, a, and I'll show you, we'll return the, a combination of red plus white plus blue list to get our final uh, output, um, you know, as, as it is being returned from a function call. So let me just go quickly code this out real quickly. For nums, nums in nums, if uh, nums equals zero, then, you know, we go, we do red at append num. Else, if num equal one, then white dot append num, and if it's not either of those, then it has to be two. So then we'll append that to the blue list, and then at the very end, uh, you will return uh, red plus white plus blue. Okay, and then that's how you would solve it if if you know we wasn't going for in place. Uh, a solution that requires to be uh, moving the elements around in place and not returning anything at the end. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and uh, try to solve this the way that the problem is intended. So what we can what we can do is um, we can create pointers for our uh, the indices that represent uh, where these elements are at. Uh, whether they like classification of whether they are red or white or blue or zero one or two and as we are kind of going through a loop and checking uh, the value of uh, the current element 
uh, and moving them to the corresponding, um, you can kind of think of them like subarrays. Um, we're moving them to the corresponding subarray and then we are then uh, 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 updating our pointer to uh, whatever, whether it should go forward or go backward, but we're either incrementing it or decrementing it uh, based on whether it is, um, you know, should be in ones, it should be in uh, red, white, or blue. And let's go through uh, coding this and then uh, at, at the very end we'll run through a visualization to see uh, to see what is happening as we are stepping through our code to so that you can better have an understanding of our of our algorithm here okay so uh, to begin what we want to do is initialize our pointers so red white and blue to be uh, we'll initialize it with a starting value of zero zero for red and white and for blue it will be our the length of our list minus one and then uh, so here's our while loop we're using a while loop instead of for loop because we want to this we want this to uh, go on continuously until uh, we are conditioned for our while loop uh, no longer is, is valid and then at that point uh, our algorithm is basically finished because we're not really returning anything at the end so while white is less than or equal to blue and currently, uh, white is zero, and blue would be the length of whatever our nums list is minus one. So here we do our check. So if nums at uh, this current element of uh, element or indices as nums of white is at, if that is zero, then we want to do our uh, our element swap here. So we want to swap a zero represent red. So we want to uh, swap the nums at white to wherever the nums of red uh, index is. So it'd be we can do something like this in Python: nums red and nums white is equal to nums white to nums red. So then, basically, what's going to happen is that this nums white is going to be uh, moved to wherever nums red is at and then nums red is going to be swapped to wherever nums white is at in the current uh, current index of our nums list all right and after we do the swap then we need to also increment our uh, our pointer for red we will increment that up to uh, by one and then same thing for white else if nums white is equal to one then all we do at that point is that uh, we, we, we are already there so we just gonna move up white pointer up by one incremented and then finally um, if um, if uh, if nums here you know, I just put a comment if nums white is equal to two then obviously we want to swap where swap it to wherever the last known um, pointer for blue is so we do nums blue nums white and equal to nums white nums blue and uh, I need to let's Let's stretch it out so it doesn't go into the next line. It looks kind of funky that way. All right, so we do the swap there. And then we need to also uh, decrement our pointer for blue. And the reason why is because we need to make it so that uh, going back up to a while loop, we need to have it where white is, no, is less than or equal to blue so that we break out this while loop. Oh, when this is no longer true, then we'll break out this while loop, and that will be the end of our algorithm. And yeah, that should be uh, it here, because we're not returning anything. Let's go ahead and run this code to see if it works. And it does. And uh, let's submit it to see if it uh, if it correct against uh, other test cases. And we are successful. So our runtime is 32 milliseconds, faster than 77.60% of Python Online 3 submissions. Memory use is 13.8 megabytes, less than 59.12% uh, of Python 
Okay, so that works. Let's go ahead and plug this into uh, PythonTutor.com website and kind of step through our code real quickly here so you understand this algorithm. All right, I'm just going to grab this bit of code and go to uh, PythonTutor.com website and plug it in. Okay, so this is PythonTutor.com website and I basically uh, copy and paste in our uh, algorithm or function called sort colors. I remove like the the self uh, you know a class uh, first parameter because we just running this function to see if it works. And I'm gonna make one last thing change here because if we run this code at the end it's gonna return null because we're not returning anything but we want to see what it's doing so I want to not return I just want to print out our nums uh, list at the end so that we can see if it w if it was organized or sorted correctly and then we'll just call a function here sort colors and I'm going to use uh, the same inputs for in our leak code example so let's take this guy and plug it in oh what was that what's just happened okay that should be it. We should be able to visualize and execute our code here. All right, and step through our code. Here is us calling our functions uh, with that uh, input list. And then here's our num list uh, without going through our algorithm yet. And then we're going to initialize a couple of pointers here, or variables, if you want to call it with our, our current indexes or pointers. So red is 0, white is 0, and blue is uh, a 5 because it takes the length of our num list minus 1. And then we we'll go through our while loop here. So while white is less than or equal to blue, which is true right now, white is 0, less than or equal to 5. Uh, and if nums, uh, nums of white, so if white is equal to 0, uh, which it is not because right now it's indexed uh, nums of white is actually two, so the pointer of zero is pointing to the is re referring to the value of two. So it's it's gonna skip this uh, bit of code and it's gonna go to the else else if clause and is nums of white uh, equal one? No, it's not. And it's uh, so it goes to the else clause uh, and. Now we're just going to be swapping the nums of white to wherever nums of blue is, uh, the pointer of it. And so the element at uh, nums blue will go to wherever uh, uh, nums white zero is at. And then uh, this one will go to uh, the index five for the pointer for blue. And we will decrement uh, the blue pointer by one at that point. So there you go. Uh, these two element has been swapped and then blue pointer reference is decremented to uh, to four so then now this is the current blue uh, pointer index right here and then we go back up to a while loop and we go continue on this process and at the end we'll get our, our final uh, nums list uh, that has been modified in place so uh, nums we are still at num zero here and num zero is equal to uh, uh, referring to uh, the index 0 and then it's checking to see if it's, uh, the value is 0 which it is so then we fall into this uh, code block and then we just going to be uh, swapping uh, we're going to be swapping the elements at for between nums, r nums red and nums white and then incrementing both the pointer for nums uh, for red and white and continuing with our logic here our algorithm so that stays the same because red and white is pointing to the same element at this, at currently but that will change later on and then we're going to uh, increment our pointers for red and for white there you go and then continue back up with our loop while loop and now we get to the point where um, uh, it's going to be the same for this uh, current iteration so we'll, we'll keep going there uh, now we add uh, the pointer for nums white is 2, index 2, so we add this part right here. So it's saying that if nums white is equal to 0, which is not, continue on, uh, con fall down to the next else if, and it's not true there either. So again, here we reach a point where uh, we're going to be swapping uh, these two elements together. So nums white and nums blue, these two elements going to swap. 
there you there you go and then at that point we're going to decrement uh, the pointer for blue so it's going to be uh to uh, down to three and then uh, we continue our loop here and then uh, to be honest we're done because if you look at the final if you look at the final uh, list here uh, this is what nums is currently and that matches our expected oh, where's leak le code that matches our, our expected output for uh, the leak code problem okay guys um, yeah uh, that should do it for today if you guys like what you guys have seen please help my channel out by subscribing and giving a like to the videos and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.